Mucus is a substance that provides not only lubrication, but also filtration and protection for the lungs and respiratory system. As you take a breath in, pollutants such as dust, allergens, and even viruses get stuck in the mucus of your airways. So basically it functions to keep these debris from reaching the lungs. With that all said, sometimes the body can produce too much mucus, which makes it very discomforting and requires you to constantly cough and clear your throat. Since you're here, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. And the good news is, in this video, we are going to talk about each of the causes of constant mucus and phlegm in your throat and hopefully help you get rid of that nagging feeling. Be sure to watch until the very end because there are a few techniques that not too many people know about. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Before we go any further, just know that we are not doctors. This video is for informational and entertainment purposes only. Please speak with your doctor for medical advice and treatment. So now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about each of the different causes of constant mucus and phlegm in your throat. The most common cause is reflux, or if you want to get fancy, laryngopharyngeal reflux. This occurs when stomach acid moves upwards instead of downwards and ends up accumulating in your throat. The contents could be either acidic or non-acidic. As the fluid sits back there, it causes that nagging sensation that makes you want to constantly clear your throat. And another common cause is post-nasal drainage. This is, as the name suggests, literally where drainage from the nose travels down and accumulates in the back of the throat. The cause of this could stem either from allergies or from your sinuses, and the treatment really depends on which one it is. And while we're on the topic of allergies, food allergies are another cause of that mucus and throat feeling. That's correct, it is very possible for that nagging feeling to stem from a food that your body is allergic to. Common culprits include dairy products, wheat, gluten, and even eggs in some cases. One would need to undergo proper testing in order to see which foods you are allergic to. Or it could possibly stem from an infection. That feeling of needing to constantly clear your throat is also a side effect that comes from a virus or infection such as the common cold. Again, it causes contents to build up in the throat, which results in that uncomfortable feeling. And finally, it can be caused by certain respiratory conditions. Respiratory diseases and conditions such as asthma, COPD, chronic bronchitis, pneumonia, and cystic fibrosis can cause the feeling of constant mucus in your throat as well. So now that we've covered some of the most common causes, let's talk about some of the techniques that you can use to make it go away. First and foremost, you should take the right medications. The most effective way to get rid of mucus and phlegm is to take the medications that are prescribed directly by your doctor. This is especially true for those who have underlying respiratory conditions. But if you're looking for other means, some over-the-counter medications may be helpful as well. Medications such as expectorants can help loosen up mucus and phlegm buildup and make it easier to cough up or blow out through your nose. Also, certain types of decongestants may provide short-term relief, but they are generally not recommended for continuous use. And sometimes they can even make it more difficult to get rid of mucus. And I have to keep saying it guys, always check with your doctor first about medication and treatment methods because they will know more about your individual condition. But another way is to make sure that you are drinking plenty of fluids. You probably grew up hearing your parents tell you to drink plenty of water every time you were sick or had a cold. Now it may sound cliche, but they are 100% correct because it actually does help improve the functionality of pretty much all the major systems of the body. Not to mention, staying hydrated helps to thin out mucus and phlegm as well. Dehydration causes secretions to thicken up, which makes them more difficult to remove. So listen to your parents and try to drink a lot of water. You can also try to gargle warm salt water. This is a home remedy that feels nice and it can help get rid of mucus in the back of your throat. Another simple method is to take a hot bath or shower. In this case, the main benefit of taking a hot bath or shower is to inhale the steam that is produced by the warm water. 
steam acts as a natural way to help break up and get rid of mucus and phlegm. All you have to do is gently breathe in and out as the aerosol particles enter your airways and lungs. The humidity from the steam should work to loosen up the mucus and phlegm so that it can be removed. It also helps reduce sinus pressure, chest congestion, and other nagging symptoms as well. In general, always try to keep your allergies under control. Not only can seasonal allergies cause a runny nose, itchy throat, and watery eyes, they can also cause excessive amounts of mucus and phlegm to build up as well. So keeping your allergies in check is a no-brainer. Make sure that you're using your typical prescription or over-the-counter allergy medications in order to alleviate these symptoms. Because otherwise, this could lead to increased amounts of secretions, which obviously is the opposite of what we want. One way to do so is to avoid irritants. Things like pollution, chemicals, and even certain fragrances can trigger the body to produce excessive amounts of mucus. So if you notice that any of these are making your symptoms worse, just try to avoid it if at all possible. And now I have to bring up smoking, of course. Cigarette smoke contains over 7,000 toxic chemicals, some of which trigger the body to create mucus as a way to combat foreign substances. Now it goes without saying, and I harp on it all the time, but if you smoke, try to stop. And avoid secondhand smoke if you're around others who do. You can also try to eat foods that are good for the respiratory system. Anecdotal studies have shown that certain foods and drinks can be effective in getting rid of mucus and phlegm. Take spicy foods, for example. Spices such as chili and cayenne pepper contain substances that help clear up the sinuses. This can help make removing secretions much easier by blowing your nose or coughing. More examples of healthy foods for your lungs include foods with healthy fats, spices that reduce inflammation, and fruits and vegetables that are high in antioxidants. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, you should try to avoid foods that your body is allergic to that make symptoms worse. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. I hope you like the tips that were shared in this video. Millions of people around the world suffer from constant mucus and phlegm in their throat and it's a very uncomfortable feeling. But now hopefully you have a better understanding of the causes so that maybe you'll have an easier time getting rid of it. As always, be sure to speak with your doctor for medical advice and treatment. This video is for informational purposes only. And just a reminder, we have a full guide on this topic on our website. I will drop a link to it right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.